G'day, Michael here, and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to load Betaflight onto a flight controller. Scrolling through the Boris B page on RC Groups, you'll notice that he's gone to extensive lengths to detail the old implementation and how the new Betaflight differs from that, uh, with the current loop times and the new loop times. It's uh, recommended that you read through all of this because there's a wealth of great information. Scrolling towards the bottom of the page, you'll notice that there's a download firmware section. Click on that link and it will take you to the download section on the CleanFlight Betaflight fork page. For each section, there's the fixes and new features associated with that release. And below that are the downloads for each of the flight controller types that are supported. In this case, we'll use the NAS32 hex download that to a directory of our choice, Betaflight Firmware, and save that locally. Load CleanFlight and start the application. From there we will select Firmware Flasher, which takes us to this page. Down the bottom right hand side is Load Firmware Local, select that, and browse to the base flight NAS hex file that we saved before. Open that and select Flash Firmware to load the file to the NAS32 itself. The firmware will be flashing as seen here with the green progress bar. It's now verify, program successfully loaded. You have now completed upgrading the firmware. With the firmware flashed to the NAS32, or any other flight controller that you've chosen, it's just a matter of now connecting by selecting the connect button to get CleanFlight to read the Betaflight derivative. Everything from here on is as you would normally do with CleanFlight in the way of configuration. I hope you found this useful, and if so, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next quick tutorial. Thank you.